Hey Church family, I hope you are well. This is my weekly update for you. And today I want to speak about a really important subject and it's the subject of peace in the midst of turbulence. And I'd love to read to you just one verse from John chapter 14. These are the words of Jesus and Jesus says this, peace I leave with you my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Friends, if if ever there's a message that we need to hear at this time, it's a message about finding peace in the midst of turbulence, in the midst of trouble. And Jesus speaks into this very subject that is so relevant to us in these beautiful words, peace I leave with you. Many of you will know that the word peace here has the connotations of wholeness or uh, the, the Hebrew word is shalom, this kind of completeness. And Jesus is saying, I want to leave this completeness with you. I want to leave my completeness with you. I want to give it to you. But here's the key, here's the kicker. Not as the world would give it to you. Friends, where does the world reach for when they're looking for peace? They, some people reach for control. They want to nail down their lives, have everything lined up. They want to have their job secure, their house secure, their finances secure. They want to have their future and maybe a retirement fund secure. And when they've got all of those things in place, they believe that there will be this completeness, this wholeness, this peace available to them. Other people reach for kind of daily comforts, maybe comfort eating or drinking a a glass of wine or two or three or maybe binge watching Netflix. And there's this belief inside of us that if we can reach for enough of these things, we'll find, even if it's just for a few moments, a sense of peace. And Jesus says, friends, I want to give you peace, but it's not as the world would give it to you. I don't want to distract you. I don't want to give you temporary peace. I don't even want to give you a life plan. I want to bring you into a completeness and a wholeness that has a much bigger, glorious picture. And it's a completeness and it's a peace that comes from being in me, in Christ. You see, when we walk with Jesus, our completeness and our peace is not based upon the earthly things of this world. Our completeness and our peace comes from being relationally and eternally connected with and in relationship to Jesus. You see, friends, when we're starting to put our trust and find our peace in earthly things, what happens when our world gets turned upside down like it has done through this pandemic? Suddenly our peace gets thrown in the air. Suddenly our peace evaporates. And Jesus is wanting us to be men and women that can walk through seasons of disruption, seasons of upheaval because we know that we are not men and women who are building an empire here on planet earth. We are pilgrims passing through. We are citizens of heaven. We're living as a colony of heaven here on planet earth in and amongst all of the craziness and the disruption, but our home is in heaven. And so our kind of the kind of core identity of who we are, our peace, comes from being people of God and knowing that our home is already secure. And so friends, here's two questions for you as I finish. The first question is this, when you think about your life, are you living your daily life as a pilgrim passing through or as a settler who is looking to try and build a new empire here? That's a really important question. 
It affects how you spend your money. It affects how you view your house. It affects how you view uh, the car that you own, the retirement fund that you're building, the, 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 the food that you're buying, the hospitality that you're offering. It affects every area of your life. Are you a pilgrim or are you a settler and an empire builder? Secondly, is Christ your most satisfying thing? Like in the parable of the, the pearl of great price or the treasure buried in the field. In, the, in this parable, we see that the, the, the merchant, when they find this treasure, all other things are off. All other things are are, are disposable because they know that they found the joy of the whole world. And friends, in the midst of a disruptive, chaotic world where jobs may disappear, houses may become, uh, yeah, could, we could end up potentially losing a house or, 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 or retirement funds could suddenly crash. In the midst of all of that is Joy, is Jesus your ultimate joy? Friends, these two things will bring you peace in this crazy, disrupted world.